when I think of people on YouTube that I've spent <clears throat> my youth with, I was 40 years old, and then I hopped into the YouTube platform as a newborn. Newborn dropped on the doorstep. This is my life. This is my journal. I write in it just about every day. Writing in it to me is talking. It's no different. If we didn't have this technology, and I felt like speaking my mind, then I would write in a journal. My mom does it all the time. She's like a daily, detailed journal writer. I don't know if she says everything that's on her mind or everything that ever happened. I don't think anybody really can if, you know, unless there's nothing, there's no, like, secrets or anything. There's nothing from the past. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm literally a five-year-old. I'm almost six. And you want to talk about an abused life growing up. Not in my world. In my, in my first 40 years, there wasn't any abuse. Although harassment happened. I never actually got into a fight, but... I got punched a couple times. One of them for, well, I almost got kicked really hard in the ass. The one, because I was with this one dude's girlfriend and, you know, I wasn't, didn't really do anything. It just it pissed him off. I'm surprised he didn't punch my face into the ground. Then her brother, I think he even punched me in the face for, because it was his buddy that was his sister's boyfriend. And these were older dudes. These were like the, the, the gang. It's like the gang. Uh, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, I got picked on a few times. Even by... You know the, the the cool kid in the in the in the school, and he sent his little brother to start trying to beat me up. I'm like, come, what the hell is this? You don't. What are you doing? I'm in eighth grade. You got the eighth grade tough guys sending his little fourth grader little brother to to pick on me. <coughs> I swear. You just wonder with this world. People are so evil, just from birth. And then depending on how they're raised. You know, it, it, I guess, is it better to be left alone? Or is it better to be raised by wolves? Is it better to just... Be ignored? That way you're by yourself and then you can... Learn who you are instead of being brainwashed with people telling you who you are or telling you who you should be or who you should act like or whatever. Growing up as a kid, 
I was just left alone, so it was actually pretty peaceful, really. My mom slept a lot. My dad wasn't there. My stepdad was, I don't know, here and there, wherever. He was always trying to get away from my mom because she would, she, like, she wouldn't let him drink, and she would always, he would have to hide. It, it's just control. And then once he left, then she felt bad. Then you start thinking, maybe I should have treated that person a little bit better. So in my actual life, in the first 40 years, I was pretty much left alone. But mainly the first 10. The first five years I didn't talk. I had nothing to say. I, I, I literally had nothing to say. My stepmom, Karen, even said it. She's like, is, is there something wrong with your kid? To my dad, when I was like five. She's like, no, why? Like, he doesn't talk. But I don't really remember that, you see. Because my, my stepdad and my... I mean, my mom... My stepmom and my dad were... Together... Well, no, Karen knew me when I was about three, so... And she knew me before my dad went to jail, which means there was a relationship there, which means I was doomed from birth. I don't believe I was planned out by my mom and dad, but I may have been planned out by another group of parents somewhere else. I just wonder how many children did they have and then was I supposed to, uh, was I supposed to be the one to do what, exactly what it is that I'm doing? From those who were in charge that had some kind of secret agenda 46 years ago? Was there a 46 year plan? <coughs> so that brings me to YouTube. I created an account. Well, my son did, actually, because I learned how to make fiberglass hoods on YouTube, and then I learned to watch fear porn, and then I learned how to speak the serpent's language. Now I'm like a master at it. It's a, it's a degree. It's a graduation from the YouTube university. Normally, you would think you have to do four years, but this is more of a... I don't know what the what 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 it's what's it called when you go past four years, you go six years, you go seven, eight years, it's like a master's doctrines something or another. I'm going for the master's degree. So it's not gonna be just four years. It's gonna be longer than that. I found some really top YouTube channels that obviously have a, uh, a, a the world script in their hand. They all seem to know something about the things and the events that are going to take place and how they're going to take place. Like Kim Jean. Kim Jean knows, and but see the thing about Kim Jean is he may point at being the Antichrist, like the Antichrist at times, and but there's many any Antichrist. So, and then it's like when people point as if they're Paul, and well, wasn't he the main Antichrist? And just because he's Antichrist doesn't mean he's, a, you know, a, a horrible, satanic, demonic, against Christ 
uh, creature, although at one point, I'm sure that's what he was. But you're going to be whatever you are until you get challenged. So when, when, he was when he was actually challenged by the real risen Christ, Paul wasn't, at least the name Paul, he was challenged by the risen Christ, and that's what threw him for a loop. And then that's why people, I would just assume that's why they, whether they called him a fake apostle Paul, or there's somebody who is fake, the pretender, and he's acting as if he's Apostle Paul, which would make him the fake Apostle Paul. Because apparently Apostle Paul is the one that wrote the majority of, if not all of the uh, New Testament. <coughs> So Kim Jean, I don't see him trying to be somebody else. Kim Jean's original, he's one of a kind, he's his own. And I don't, I, I also don't sense any, any uh, guile in his, in his words, like in his, I don't feel like he's trying to deceive I can't say the same for everybody else. Derek Rose, when I first came across him, I thought he was lying about things and I started to come at after him a little bit here and there because I was used to being attacked and just pointing out people that I knew were part of the inside that had information and then I quickly stopped he was like the transition point of where I, I quickly stopped because he was talking right back to me about a few things that I was doing and saying I'm like oh shit he's he's talking to me okay well let me uh well, well then because once I've once you finally basically admitted you're talking to me, you're watching my channel, you're, you're doing a video literally talking to me, I tend to back off. So, and then the same thing with Derek Bros. I don't, I don't sense him when he was doing videos. I didn't sense he was trying to be somebody else other than who he is, but I didn't, but I was trying to figure out who he who he is. Because when you try to find Enki and Enlil and Enoch and Elijah and <laughs> I gotta tell you, you've discovered some very realistic things. I did. Well that's crazy because I still to this day don't know exactly which who, what, where, and which one is who. But, yeah, I believe I found the family. Juxing positions here and there. I'm sure I've said who everybody really is in this world when I didn't believe that that kind of thing existed with these Enki and Enlils and Yahwehs and being literal people. <laughs> now I know they are. So, and of course, yeah, there's there's still deception people are still being deceived but it's really your own perception as whether or not you're going to be deceived about something and Gog and Magog are deceiving the entire nation it's like that reminds me of the king of the north and the king of the south which would also be Yahweh and an angel of the bottomless pit and then there's always going to be a pretender pretending to be the angel of the bottomless pit. And then there's the king of uh, the north, Russia, and then the king of the south, America. And then you got you got Putin, you got you got Trump down there in Florida, International Beach Resort. <coughs> 
reptilian with the with the baby down there by the Bahamas. Stand with things bounce around. And and then uh, the tyrant from the west. What happens is the he goat, a he goat, pet goat, two, coming from the west, touching not the ground, and then tidings out of the east will trouble will trouble him because what happens is if you have tidings out of the east and if if Obama's that tyrant from the west that he goat from pet goat he goat his goat his pet the goat inside the body the his pet goat if he is the tyrant According to Pet Goat 2, then that news that came out of the East must represent the woman with the 12 stars that are the uh, her 12 apostles that are all bound with the barbed wire around them in Pet Goat 2. And she's clothed with the sun and she has the apple in her hand and she drops the apple in front of the foot of Obama and then the two become one and Obama's face is like, oh shit. Because earlier he was laughing when he graduated from being George Bush hopping into the next face mask or head pop face mask, I would say. And so he got disturbed because when that apple rolled, my perception is when that apple rolled to his foot, well... He realized at that time that the two became one, and maybe that's what represents tidings out of the East from that that woman was letting Barack Obama know that the king of the North and the king of the South have become one, and uh, your time's up. So maybe that's what that means. I'm sure at some point, when all the lies are done, and I've conquered the universe by telling the truth, uh, people will start telling me the absolute true meaning of everything. It's, a, it's what I want to know. Why is the truth so important when people, when most of you are just straight, flat-out liars? You hate the truth, right? Well, I hate the lies, so we can agree uh, to disagree. <clears throat> I remember Matthew Yahoo said, "I see, I don't do that. Robin says, we can agree to disagree. I'm not doing that because he needed more control. If you can't agree to disagree, then it's usually because you're a control freak and you want people to agree with you no matter what. Skip Heitzing. I never felt like he was trying to be anybody besides uh, reminding you that he's above Jonathan Clegg there in the United States map of Philadelphia spraying the ants. And he told me a long time ago that he's standing there with a smile on his face spraying the ants. I'm like, holy shit, that's him. I don't understand, Skip. Why do they... It's like your name is Skip. People skip by you as if, you know, you're not the pharaoh in charge or whatever. Or maybe somebody else is acting like they're you. So I'll start with the ones that I don't think they're trying to be anybody except for who they are. Kim Jean, Kim Jean Derek Bros. Skip Heitzing. And then the next... So that's like three heads. Three heads. <coughs> Steve Benoon. Same thing. 
Like, when I say they're not trying to be somebody else, they're not spending an awful lot of time trying to prove that they are somebody. They're more or less delivering knowledge and information for you to discern yourself. Yes, there's always going to be finger pointing at themselves or Im implications implying that maybe that's who they are. Like like Yahweh, Yah Yahweh, Yahushua, Yama. I forget how many names I have uh, now when Steve said that. It's like, all right, well, I mean, I can, I can, I'm starting to see that there is somebody who's in charge of the heavens. There is somebody who's in charge of the bottomless pit. There is a God of the earth. There's an angel of the bottomless pit. There's a the Yahweh Father in heaven, which to me would really be uh, Satan. And then Satan hires an angel of the bottomless pit. And then they put in place Marduk, who rules the earth. So it's like Enki and Enlil. Yahweh en Enlil. Israeli News Live INL is connected with initials Enlil. And it's not, it's not, um, Yeah, it took a while for me to even see that and say, wait a minute. That that says Enlil. But it's 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 not obnoxiously, you know, trying to be Enlil. It just seems like that's what the case is. And then and then Inky being down <coughs> whether it's the bottomless pit or and then they put Marduk in charge. So Marduk Marduk would be the one I don't know maybe it's like Cain maybe Yahweh and Enki are is Adam and Eve having the baby and and then the serpent in the garden and is he really a bad guy is he a good guy is he trying to tell you something or trick you with something is he sly that serpent or is he wise like a serpent I've heard it all I've heard all the interpretations really it's just a matter of which one's the true one and or which one is or they're all true and which one pertains to you so I don't yes is everybody lying yes I believe everybody is still a liar. And, but if you act like you're not, then you're just, again, you're lying. If you're, because lying is implying. You may not be outright lying, but because I know what you're implying, you're a liar. That's how that works with me. I was sent from God to judge the, uh, discern the spirits and then hand it to him and let him deal with it. But here's the thing. The funny thing is there's a difference between like with Jacob Israel. Is he trying to imply that he's somebody? Well, yes, Elon Musk. There's no question about that. But are you Elon Musk? And then, not only that, but you guys are behind a bunch of different masks, and you're different people. You're you're like Andrew Tate. I believe that's Jacob Israel behind another bodysuit. Uh, the Rock. I believe that's uh, most likely you behind the bigger bodysuit. You're like the Muscle Man. The Muscle Man uh, characters. And what you do is you just hop in all these suits and you make your appearances and that's that's what your life is. It's, it's a very busy life. But how much power do you actually have? So, 
but I remember, like, I would get annoyed with Jacob because he says things like, I, I mean, I don't have any inside knowledge, and so you're lying your ass off right there. And then, and then, uh, like, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm not, I was like, oh, yes, you are saying that's the case. <laughs> and it would just irritate me. But that's, isn't that what Jacob is? Jacob is a deceiver in the Bible. So if that's truly who you are in the Bible, Jacob, then why would I get mad at the character that you're playing out? I would only get mad if, it, if you're not the character and you're acting like you are. But then, because Steve Benu knows that, that that's bothered me in the past, he does it in the way that's it makes it funny when he's lying. And then it, it, it diffuses humor really does diffuse anger. Even Christ said it in his uh, one of his last you know, the chosen, the Christ playing the chosen. It might have been in the it was either in the third or a, whichever series <coughs> of season three. He said when he sends you out two by two with uh, in twos and pairs, like male female, humor diffuses the uh, the anger, and it's true. So then when Steve Benut said about what's coming with what people didn't believe that's going to happen, like a basically somebody's going to be raised up that you didn't think would be, because he's going to be the one to do it, and and then but. He, is something going to happen that people have never thought? I mean, I mean, I don't know. I so that's a lie right there. And then I honestly, I don't know. I'm not. That's another lie. And then he's saying, I'm not saying that that's the case. And that's another lie because that's that's exactly what he's saying. So there was like three lies in that one sentence. But because it's funny, I don't think God is holding that against him. I really, truly don't because. Because because he's telling the truth to God because God knows what he's saying that it's true, he is saying that that's the case. And in this whole hospital thing, the door dasher, he door dashes. Just she whatever. The way that they give it away is they door dash it, they stop, they look dead down at their phone, and they do not move their head. It's so funny how it's so it's like a typical nature of a door dasher. Kim Jean, Skip Heitzing. Steve Ben Noon. Derek Bros. Those four right there. I don't sense. that they're trying to deceive me. How's that? I don't sense that they're trying to deceive me when they're talking, as if they're really talking. As if these people make their videos surround, round, surrounding their videos about what I'm saying. Yeah. Right, Robin. It's, you know, I mean, I do realize how ridiculous it sounds, but because it's true, not all, every single video is, but I've obviously, you know, <clears throat> I'm talking to you guys. That's who I'm talking to anymore. I used to talk to the spirits of doubt that were judging me and lying about me and, and degrading me and that kind of thing. I used to have to justify myself or even talk to people who were in my family watching my videos at any time that I won't really know 
maybe it'll say something here and there. I used to feel like I had to address all of those people and not really say what I feel. But because I've proven to the ones that I'm talking to in their own language, with their own tongue, as the their own language as to what they were born with, with their own tongue. So when you're talking in tongues, no, obviously Matthew, when he did his jibber jabber, he did it, you know, to, to show his dedication to, to his master on air, coming on air, because he didn't come on air uh, and cry because of me. He came on air because he was there to talk in tongues, but that's not what talking in tongues is. Talking in tongues is you're talking in your own language with your own tongue, <clears throat> and you hear God is with him. The inward Jewish man. God is with him, so they all follow him because they hear him in their own tongue, that they are speaking with their own tongue. It's English language in which you were born. And when you say, let me give you a really clear example with Skip Heitzing. When he talked about the ants, spraying the ants, standing there with a smile on his face, I interpreted his tongue and and pointed towards the the Philadelphia Art Museum with Skip up there spraying the ants down from the top of uh, the Jonathan Cleck face, which would mean that he has a like he has more authority over Jonathan Cleck's head, but I didn't. I didn't really agree with him. I'm like, no, wait, Jonathan Cleck's in charge. What are you talking about? He's the king. Maybe. I mean, I don't really know which one is actually playing King Saul. Maybe it's both Stephen James and and uh, Jonathan Cleck. I, I just don't really know. It's like Saul, Saul. Both of you. One of them's persecuting me in a literal sense, name-dropping Stephen James, the only one that really does that. And then the other one is secretly attacking me and gang stalking me and but pretending that he ain't. <laughs> that guy is something else. I, I don't understand his approach. The bum. The bum who just, he just, he looks like he just doesn't want to work. Because <clears throat> he doesn't have a cup in his hand. The one time I seen him with a cell phone. He has a cell phone, no cup, he's smoking a cigarette. <clears throat> uh, today is one sock is lower than the other, wearing a pair of dress shoes with shorts and a t-shirt. And uh, in the summer he stands there with his shirt off and his big belly hanging over his stomach. I mean, his pants. And when he comes up to you, he puts his hands up instead of putting a cup out. Almost like he's attacking you. Maybe I should tell him that that's not a good approach. Maybe you should dress a little bit more like a bum instead of looking like you're just lazy. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway... It doesn't make you want to want to reach in your pocket to give him anything. So between the four, and I came across all of you as at, at least like three years ago, four years ago. I remember, I remember within my first year. I, when I'm showing some videos, I had on the side, you know how it shows your, I'm recording with my phone, this computer screen, and on the side it has like 
the algorithms of the people you've been watching. It showed Skip Skip is up there, like within the first year. You got Kim Jean is, is over there. But John DeCleck wasn't there yet within the first year. He came afterwards, like Mark did. Uh, but Stephen James was the first and he named he named drop me and then he acted like he was a poor suffering servant when he's really like the king he may even be the representation of King David on earth but <clears throat> the problem is he tries to convince people that he's somebody so that's where the red flag goes off for me but for Steve Benoon, there is no red flag. I, I, he, the one time I had a problem where he wasn't really driving, and I'm like, I'm getting irritated because he's reading and, and I'm, you know, my own demons. And then he did something funny where he was, he was pretending he was driving, and then he did the bounce moving forward thing with a smirk on his face, referring to the day before when I was talking about that. <clears throat> instantly diffused my irritation instantly got rid of it and then uh, and then when I heard Kim Jean I, when I rewatched that Robin Hood Crusader video I realized at that time that is a good guy. He has a good heart. And uh, he's just doing his thing. But it was like, who's this circ uncircumcised giant? Because I'm talking about the giant in the secret way, where nine foot nine giant, that host body, uh, that secret that, you know, the elephant in the room. And then the other giant it's like which one is which one would be Saul and then which one is Goliath because to me really Stephen James is like Goliath because he's the biggest giant liar Goliath and then Saul would be the one that's like go get him Robin And then either way, it doesn't really matter because in the Bible where I can relate to, to David, the little shepherd boy, Saul trying to kill him all the time. It just seems like it. Like I, I just get that sense that it's like a gang stalking corporation thing and subliminally, you know, your house is going to be on fire, that kind of thing. I've heard that. Then I'll check my fire extinguishers that very same day after I already checked it earlier, and then it, it it's out. Somebody somebody literally took that can and emptied it. So that's equivalent to trying to kill somebody, where because if the house goes on fire and you can't put it out when you, that's the reason why you bought fire extinguishers, and a gang stalking corporation sends one of their flunkies to empty it. Yeah, that's what it is. And then, the clear communication, again, I mean, yeah, Skip could be just saying, like, well, you know how Moses and Aaron struck the rock? I mean, uh, Moses struck their, you know, Aaron's bud, Aaron's rod budded? And you know how Moses struck the rock? And they were like a duo. And you know how when when they when Moses struck his uh, rod against the ground, it turned into a serpent. And then Pharaoh's like, I can do the same thing. Struck the ground, turn into a serpent. <clears throat> it could be a way of saying, Well, I can I can communicate too, just like you. That doesn't mean anything. But then you know damn well that it does. Even if that, even if that was the case, in that aspect, but but I definitely nailed it, and you nailed it too. 
<clears throat> you nailed it, Skip, because you you knew that it was going to work and said it was going to work with absolute faith that I was going to show you exactly what you're talking about and I had no idea what you were talking about as I was doing the video showing you what you're talking about. I'm showing you the chalk line not even knowing what you're talking about with not on my mind like I'm not I'm not focusing in like all right well here's the chalk mark that you're talking about but I'm pointing at it with my cursor that's like God just moving my hands here it, it, Robin it's right here and I'm like still sleeping like that uh, that figure in a pet goat 2 video where he's just catching fish on his boat just still asleep waking up, being persecuted in his head, his pineal gland, the serpent. And then, because he finally finds out who the serpent is. And it's the one that's been his friend. It's the one that you wouldn't think. It's not the one persecuting you all the time. It's the one pretending to be your friend all the time. Who's the real snake. So, and then just like when Obama and that when he has that oh shit face like oh shit because the two become one and the news tidings from the east troubles him because at that time it's like the gig is up it's over that egghead wakes up stands up with a wounded head gives the head nod and then that's in spirit. And then the real flesh supposed antichrist figure finally wakes up with eyes like the flame of fire and then gives the head nod and the, the temple is destroyed. Then he just rides off into the sunset. So Jacob Israel sometimes he's just too much but clear communication with him too but with Skip yesterday and I'm I'm going over the video talk, he's talking about the number one he's talking about the generator Ford Henry Ford my name is Henry I was birthed about a football field from Henry Ford's it looks like a generator when you zoom up to where the chalk line is and the 16 coil uh, winds replace with the chalk line and and Charlie <clears throat> like Charlie Mac because Obama was thanking Mr. Philadelphia Charlie so Charlie is the one that you know code name I guess is the one that's able to show Henry Ford and when I showed Henry Ford what I did yesterday I'm sure you were pretty excited about that because I fixed I made the mark where the uh, chalk line is and uh, to make the, to make the mark it only cost a dollar but to know where the mark is that cost nine hundred ninety nine million dollars so there's a number one from Google Maps, when you zoom in on the, the Ford Bartow Ford dealership, a football's length field from, from my place of birth where there's the eighth ruler, the magnet, and John DeCleck is saying there's only one eight, and, there, and he's right, but who's that eight? Who is that one eight? I think everybody knows. Like, I don't, I don't really know, but I, everybody else does. And these, everybody else's are the ones that, they're gonna, it's like they're the ones that, you see, when they, when they, when it says that they don't sleep day or night, and they say holy, 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 don't get it twisted. It's not like they don't get rest, but it says they rest not day or night. Well, it says they don't sleep day or night which means they don't sleep they're not sleeping they're awake fully awake 
they're not sleeping during the daytime. They're not, you're not going to catch them sleeping, is what I'm saying, during the day or during the night. During the day, they're not sleeping. During the night, Christ came as a thief in the night. They are not sleeping. They know when Christ is coming. They know he comes as a thief in the night. They know that. That's why they're awake. You're not going to catch them sleeping. So they don't rest day or night. They don't sleep day or night. But they definitely have peace in their heart, which means they do rest. They're at rest. They're just not sleeping. <clears throat> and they say, holy, holy, holy. And you, you'll, you'll see them. You'll see them doing it all the time. I just have to catch it and show and show you what they're saying day and night day and night during the day I'm driving to work I'm showing you talking to you telling you they're not sleeping during the day I go back home I show you things in in the night at night through the language in your own language through your own tongue And this is exactly the way it's supposed to be. It, it takes time to learn this and then to basically once you get nailed down rock solid communication you know it's time. What time is it? It's that time. There's no playing around. There's no, it's, it's like, I've been tested, tried, thrown into the lion's den, thrown through the fire, tried, tested, and true. Nobody can stop me from what I'm doing. They've tried. Even my wife tried. Even my son tried. Even it, it. At one point, my son was like, that's all you care about. You don't, we don't do anything, and, and you just that's, you, you need to get off of YouTube. Nah, I see what I'm doing. And you're usually playing your video games anyway, and, now, and you, you work, and, you know, it, it's, it's just the way it is. I'm, I'm trying to save the planet, son. I'll, you'll understand later on. Same with you, honey. Even if you are both hired to try to get me off of YouTube, I forgive you. It's 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 just the way it was supposed to be. How else do you conquer the universe with truth if you don't have adversaries and enemies that are in your own household? Your worst enemies will be in your own house. And that's why Christ said, love your enemies. Just love your enemies. The Gangstalk Corporation is my enemy. I'm here to set you free so you don't have to do that stupid, nonsensical, retarded tactics that just make no sense and it's just a waste of time. It's a waste of time but not to Satan because you're, you're bowing down to him. He loves that. He loves it. At every corner that he can get you to do it, he'll, he'll get you. He loves it. I hate it. I'll never accept it, but I'm able to accept the fact that it's that it's real, and it, at this time it's not stopping, but I'll never accept it. I can accept that it's there, it happens, it, it's just whatever anymore with me. I feel more empathy for the person that's controlled doing it, but I'll never accept it because that's why I'm here to stop it. But I have to see it first. The only way I can stop anything is if I can see it. The only way I can change anything is if I find the people who are in charge of the planetary system and I can influence them to change it. The only way I can do that is to talk to them directly in their own language 
through their own tongue. And that's how this whole thing works. So I understand. If nobody believes me, it's it's fine because you, you're not supposed to. It's, it, it's literally impossible with what I'm saying that I'm going to do. It's mission impossible. But it's not because it'll happen. It's already happening. But it's impossible to think that it can happen. So my influence on people like Derek Brosen, he offered to have me on his channel three weeks in a row and and then pretty much after that he just basically faded away and he doesn't do videos anymore uh, on that main channel anyway and then influencing uh, Steve Benoon who in all likelihood may be Paul Begley there's no reason to beep the horn just because you're probably told to do it. Paul Begley, Mike from around the world, uh, I don't know, Pope, uh, Pope Benedict or Pope Francis. <clears throat> the amount of people that you guys are just blows my mind. And then Jacob Israel, he has that channel that is kind of universal. He's trying to reach all different people. But if you're Jacob in the Bible, Jacob, well then yeah, you're still deceiving. You're still being deceptive by design that's supposed to happen. But then your God is the same as Abraham and Isaac. I believe there's the pretender is somebody who's pretending to be Isaac when the Isaac, there's a legitimate Isaac in the system. And then Isaac is mistaken for Esau or uh, Jacob. Jacob and Isaac mistaken. Juxtapositions there. So that would mean that your God would be the same as Abraham and Isaac's God, which is a spirit. It's not a person, it's a spirit, but it comes from the sun. So you would have to recognize the sun in order, if you don't recognize the sun, how are you going to know who the true God is? When you recognize the sun, because the sun comes in the name of the father, which is a spirit in heaven, a spirit in heaven, then you'll understand that. And then the same spirit in heaven should also match up in the end days when the thing, when the, the fun finale happens. The one that's in charge of heaven, who's considered the Father, God, right? People look at him as God, Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahamalak however many names you have, that same person would step into the shoes of the Almighty God because he has the ability to do anything and everything and change everything in the world at a push of a button. And when the Heavenly Father's Spirit is dwelling inside of him because of the Son, which may be his actual Son, but really at the same time his father because in spirit the son can literally be the heavenly father the literal Yahweh in heaven could literally be his son but his son through coming in the name of his father in spirit could wind up being considered his father even though he is the father in heaven and that's his son like literally but this is a spiritual birth. It's like a way of recycling and just everything is fits together. And then you got Stephen James and Sean 
and Jonathan Click. Stephen James, the red flag for me is he's causing all those to worship someone else. Maybe that's his job, the beast and the false prophet. Between the two, Jonathan Cleck and Stephen James, because the dragon is the one that really gave him his power, and and the the wounded head actually took place in in spirit, and in the Bible, it's supposed to be like a negative thing, but it's not. So between the two, they, I've always felt like, even even still to this day, Jonathan Click, because I just don't think that there's only one of them there, and because the last Jonathan Click that got up for that like six minutes or so, it just seemed like it was a different. It seemed like that one was acting, like the Jonathan Click that gets up and show because he was showing me the uh, he's talking about the magnet he's talking about the 1 8 it, it just felt like you're trying to say that that's you like you were born there like you're the 8th and of the 7th and maybe you are in the, in the system but I was born there so at least that's what I it's what's on record I can only go by what's on record so I've I've felt like Jonathan Click has maybe he's part of the house of Dan because when when the, when Kim Jean was teaching about the house of Dan there's one person that's not really converted there's one person that's pretending to be converted and it has to be a, a toss-up between Jonathan Cleck and Stephen James Deshaun. Uh, because one of them has to disappear and fade off. Whoever Adam and David is has to decrease, and he already is. Because I told him to be still. I know that I'm Robin Henry T's 4321 before the fire. And I created that saying on Gematria on Christmas, giving it a birth. And it skyrocketed in the first place, just like I said it would. And all I did was, I was the first click. Everybody else made it happen. So, <clears throat> but Stephen James is, is such a flat-out liar, which makes me see, which makes me feel like the one who's flat-out lying is actually telling you the truth. The one who's pretending to be friendly to me really is lying. So that's how I'm perceiving it. Although I love Jonathan Cleck dearly, and I really, uh, I've, I've communicated with him the most. But aren't you supposed to keep your enemies even closer? He even said it. You wouldn't think the one person that's against you. You would never think that that's the one person who's your enemy. Because this is the separation from the wheat and the tares. It doesn't matter if you've communicated with me and it's like, because I've always felt like you could be trying to communicate in order to raise yourself up because Maybe you're trying to say, like, maybe you're trying to be Jesus. And maybe you're trying to tell your tell people that the Lord God is talking with you about certain things. And, and then with the water staying still, you're telling me to be still. And know that you are Adam and David, Prince of Judah. Because the water stood still on October 21st, 2020. And Barack Obama came to Philly. And, and uh, you know, Barack Obama in the pet goat too. The woman with the 12 stars above her head. Once she rolled that apple to you, and you realized the two became one, and then you said, oh shit, after you were laughing, 
kind of lines up. It kind of lines up. I am looked at. I am accused of being the Antichrist because my name lines up with Barack Obama. Oh, happy birthday, uh, Brian Tucker, today. <clears throat> and so you, what I thought was you could be trying to be like, you know, Barabbas and say, Robin's the Lord. It, like, the, he's the Lord God and I'm Jesus. And, uh, and he's talking and showing me these things, but I'm not the Lord God. I'm Robin Henry Tease, remember. God is with me. Yeah. He's been with me from the beginning. In spirit. And he's been guiding me through the YouTube platform. But anybody that claims to be God will be humbled. You may look at it as somebody is your God. You may you may create like this whole system may create the legitimate God and then that person becomes their God and then they raise him up and then they he becomes their God and that's like the creation of God because God is a, ultimately is a spirit but to create it and manifest it in flesh form is something else so and that's that thing where it's like Father Father, it's me, Jesus, your son. And I'll say, please, worship God and him only. Don't worship me. I'm just a man. I'm a fellow servant. But if you're going to consider me your God because you are all God's Elohims and I've conquered the universe by the power of truth, look, hey, whatever floats your boat, but just know this, I will always look at God as a spirit in the heavens. And I'm just merely a human being communicating with them. So I've I've I still to this day I, I the reason why I sense that John Thecleck is doing those things is because he's he's been trying to prove too much. Stephen James barely proves anything. He barely does videos. When he does, they're maybe a minute or two long. Sometimes he'll talk for a little bit. But he's not really trying to prove shit because he doesn't have to. He just... He knows that his mighty works are already done in the beginning, right? Remember the crucifixion, 3-2-2-2018? Two, two, and then now it's time for Satan and his minions to try to mimic the same thing that already took place. You can stop, buddy. It, it's, you know, it's my turn to pass through. This has been on my mind for a little while now because somebody's still trying to play games and, and I'm trying to decipher who it is. And if I'm wrong, I'm, you know, I'll be, I'll be glad to be to stand corrected, but uh, if I'm right, then I'll get I'll get some negative feedback and some threats or some something or another. I know how it works. Because I've been threatened by Stephen James this, for five years and ain't shit happened. No, nothing has happened. All those threats. Because it's another thing. When someone makes you feel like if you don't believe what they're saying, you're going to burn in hell. What I'm telling you is, if you don't believe me, tch, whatever. You'll find out in the end when it happens. That's all. But when people threaten you, it means that there's a demonic spirit still working through them. If you don't believe what they're saying, huh, we're all going to die. You're going to die too. King baby. It's like the man child. I love Jonathan Click. All three of those unclean frogs on that channel. Because that's what I feel like it is. I feel like there's a dragon, a beast, and a false prophet all on the same channel. 
I feel like the last one that got up was more of the, the feminine one that like uncomfortably trying to act like the other legitimate Johnny Johnny Click who's been converted. So that's what I sense on Jonathan Click's channel. I, I sense <clears throat> two or three different spirits and one of them is definitely trying to play me. And then there's like the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet over in the house of Judah, which was already played out. And it's the house of Israel to go into the lost house of Israel now. Stephen James said Paul is still lost, but if Steve Benoon is representing Paul, he damn sure ain't lost. And Peter, the one that's the denier, the denier, denying all the time. Like, I don't know you. you I don't, I mean, I know who you are, Robin, but I don't know you. I don't know, I, like, you're not, you're just, you're the Antichrist. Well, yeah, I think I am, because if Jesus, Barabbas, is still up and about, yeah, of course, I'm his Antichrist. But remember, Barabbas was picked, and Barabbas is the pretender. So will the real Barabbas please stand up and make yourself known? Unless you're scared, of course. You know, I understand if you're scared, because it's frightening to come against the Spirit of God just through one person that came out of nowhere and is proving it to you. Go ahead, you can, ba you can back up. Back up as I drive by, because that's your tactic. Backing up. Tactic, tactic galore. Will the real Barabbas please stand up? That's who I want to talk to right now. Barabbas. Barabbas.